each other's thoughts. Because I was getting nothing. That's why I thought it was zero. <laughs> but if you cancel each other out, did you both leave out the number nine? Yes, and let's give all four of these people a nice round of applause. For my next number. Thank you. I'd like to present something we mathematicians refer to as magic squares. Magic squares are kind of like Sudoku on steroids. <laughs> now, I have done such an extensive study on magic squares that I'd like to create one for all of you right before your very eyes. But for this, I'll need another assistant, someone here I do not know. And OK, I do not know you. What's your name? Sarah. Let's give Sarah a nice round of applause. <laughs> Sarah, is that with or without the H? With, with the H. Sarah, let me ask you another question, and if it's too personal, I can change the question. Sarah, are you willing to share with us your birthday, including the year? Sure. Great. Sarah, what is your birthday? Uh, June 3rd, 1992. June 3rd, 1992. <laughs> 6, 3, 92. Great. Now, if we were to add the numbers in your birthday together, Sarah, let's see, 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 9 is 18, plus 2 is 20. So 20 is your magic number. What I'm going to try and do now, Sarah, is to fill out this box in such a way as to get your number appearing here as much as I possibly can. This will take a couple seconds, so bear with me. I think that works. Sarah, would you choose for us any row? Row number two, three, or four, which would you like? Three. Three, okay. Class three plus 10 is 13. Plus two is 15. Plus five is? 20, the other 6, 9, 18, 20, 8, 11, 16, 20, 3, 7, 11, 20. Would you choose a column, Sarah? 1, 2, 3, or 4? 3. 3, okay, class. 9 plus 5 is 14, plus 2 is 16, plus 4 is 20. The other 6, 14, 17, 20, 3, 6, 16, 20, 2, 6, 11, 20. How about that? <laughs> Sarah, I have to do with you. I decided to use this was your man. Square, based on your birthday, at no extra charge, I would give you these diagonals as well. Check it out here. 3 plus 10 is 13, plus 5 is 18, plus 2 is 20, 6, 9, 11, 20. But I didn't stop there either. I decided since this was for Sarah with an H, wouldn't it be great if we could get these four in the center to add up as well? Check it out here. 3 plus 5 is 8, plus 2 is 10, plus 10 is 20. But can I stop there? No! no. no. I put a little extra attention oh in gosh. that corner. I did that so I could get these four squares. 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 3 is 12, plus 8 is 20 to add up. And I figured, heck, as long as we got that from before, let's have a party. You may as well get this before. 9, 11, 15, 20, 3, 13, 17, 20, 2, 7, 16, 20. But did I stop there? No! So Sarah wouldn't be happy unless we got this group before, 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 this group before. This group before. I have to apologize, Sarah. I was not quite able to get this group before or that group before to add up, but I had to do it that way. I was going to get these four in the corners. I knew that would be important to you. Six, eight, seven, two, twenty. But wait, here's the cool part. Sarah, not only do those four numbers in the corners add to twenty, if you look at them closely, you'll see we have six, three, ninety-two. I was able to give you birthday another time. I thought you'd like that, so please keep this as a student for me. Hey, speaking of birthdays, by any chance, does anyone here happen to know the day of the week that they were born on? You think you know your actual birthday? Raise your hand. I saw your hand up first. What year was it? 1991. And the month? September. September what? 19. 19. Was that a Thursday? Yes. Yeah. So your birthday's coming up. Good. It is. Who else? Uh, yes, what year? 92. 92 in the month? July what? 24. Was that a Friday? Yes. Uh, all right, way in the back. What year? March 94. March 8th was a Tuesday. Yes, good. Somebody else? Uh, yes, sir, what year? October 10th, 
92, October 10th, is that a Saturday? Yes? And how about you, sir? What year? 92 in the month? June what? 22nd? Was that a Monday? Uh, let's see, how about, uh, I'll, 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 I'll do, oh, okay, we got a little one here. Okay, what year? What year were you born? 2004. No. <laughs> and what's your birthday? July 26th. Was that a Monday? <laughs> <laughs> Your, uh, let's see, uh, Eric, do you know your birthday by any chance? Yes. You do? Okay, so uh, <laughs> you know the day of the week? I do not. Well, I come prepared for that. I brought with me my iPhone that has an app that will <laughs> actually get compute the, uh, the day of the week uh, calendar. So let's see uh, if, if I can get you to do that. So um, it goes all the way, oh, it goes all, as far back as 1800, so we're safe. <laughs> so Eric, if you're willing to share with us your birthday, uh, and, and John here will check it out, we'll scroll to the date using the app. What, uh, October 14th. October 14th. 46. 46. I believe, I believe that was a Monday. Can you get confirmation on that? 1946. Was a <laughs> What's the problem? It said it should say on the top. It's what? It's Kwanzaa. <laughs> Memory 
systems. Um, I, I use, uh, when I start doing large calculations, and I'll show you an example of that towards the end of the talk today, um, I, I use something called a FNEC code, where every digit is represented by a consonant sound. Let me put, let me put it here on this back sheet so that we'll have reference to it later. Uh, so here's the code that I here, here's the code that I learned many years ago in high school from a book called The Memory Book. I don't remember who wrote it. And uh, <laughs> oh, just kidding. And uh, it it uses uh, this. Let me quickly write it down. So every Every digit gets a consonant sound. So, for instance, the one is the T or the D sound, the T or D sound. The two is the N sound. The three is the M sound, and so on. And there are even mnemonics for learning this list. I'll go through these really fast. For instance, a typewritten T has one downstroke. If you draw a T, your hand goes down once. And if you can remember the T sound, remember the phonetically similar D sound. The N uh, has two downstrokes. The M has three downstrokes. The number four ends in the letter R is how I remember that four is R. If you put a five on your fingers and you look between your index finger and your thumb, you will see an L. It's cheap, but you'll remember it, and that's how I remember that five is L. Six is probably the hardest one to remember. It's one of the sneezing sounds, the ch, ch, or j sound. A backward six kind of looks like a j. Uh, seven is a k or a g. Now that's, a, that's the k or g sound. That's a hard g like goat, not a soft g like giraffe. The giraffe g has a j sound, which has already been used up. The mnemonic for that is that a k can be drawn as a combination of two sevens. Special K, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, an 8 is an F or a V, the fa or va sound. A cursive F kind of looks like an 8, or you might think of a skater that does a figure 8, whatever it takes. All right, you tell me, 9, P, or B, you do what? Pluto. Flip, flip it over, backwards, upside down. How about 0, oh, no, F, or Z? How might you remember that? Yes, 0 begins with Z, it's one of the hissing sounds. Okay. So, I could probably quiz you right now and you get probably all ten of them right, but let, let's, um, with just a little bit of practice, you, you, you can learn this list inside out, backwards and forwards. And once you have that, you can then take numbers, meaningless random numbers, and turn them into meaningful, memorable words. Let me give you